Hello everyone, welcome to Free Learning School. Today we will see few famous quotes by Ada Yonath. Ada E. Yonath was born in June 22, 1939. She is an Israeli crystallographer best known for her pioneering work on the structure of the ribosome. She is the current director of the Helen and Milton A. Kimmelman Center for Biomolecular Structure and assembly of the Wiesman Institute of Science. She was born in Jerusalem. So let's see her few famous quotes. If one has curiosity, then one stands the chance of attaining a high level of scientific inquiry. I was described as a dreamer a fantasist, even as the village idiot. I didn't care. What I cared about was convincing people to allow me to go on with my work. I was born in Jerusalem with a religious background and a rabbi as a father. It was rather poor, but what we did have, we did have books. Problems should be solved by talking and not in an aggressive manner. I was born in Jerusalem in 1939 to a poor family that shared a rented four-room apartment with two additional families and their children. There are over 7,000 different types of proteins in typical eukaryotic cells. The total number depends on the cell class and function. Proteins are constantly being degraded. Therefore, simultaneous production of protein is required. Many ribosomes act simultaneously along the mRNA, forming superstructures called polysomes. Words originating from the verb to die were frequently used when I described my initial plans to determine the ribosome structure. It is a great honor for me to be able to express my sincere gratitude to the Nobel Foundation. The ribosome is a machine that gets instruction from the genetic code and operates chemically in order to produce the product. During my time, I had some very difficult years and I had very pronounced competition, all by men. I don't distinguish between man and woman. This is irrelevant to me and I don't think in these terms. Even if I tried to fill up the stadium in Ramat Gan, I don't think I could. When a man sits in your jails for a number of years and around him friends and family become envy, that is how we create terrorists. I'm truly glad I have managed to get the public interested in questions about basic research. I'm always having to get rid of reporters. The Wiesman Institute showed me respect and didn't require many administrative tasks, so I was quite independent. I did what I wanted. My kindergarten teacher encouraged me to learn. 
as did my school headmaster who gave me a grant to study. My neighborhood didn't really encourage women, though it didn't prevent women from progressing either. I am against boycotts in general, boycotts against us as well as anything and everything that can be boycotted. I don't walk into the lab in the morning thinking I'm a woman and I'll carry out an experiment that will conquer the world. I'm a scientist, not male or female, a scientist. Once, when I tried to calculate the height of the balcony, I broke my arm. Another time, I wanted to see if water moved faster than kerosene when my father came out to smoke, a fire broke out. My parents were Zionists born in Poland. My father was a rabbi who didn't know much about science and ran a grocery store in the neighborhood with my mother's help. For quite a while, I didn't receive a higher academic status. I didn't feel any discrimination against me as a women scientist, but I hadn't produced a lot of science journal articles. The world was not supportive. They look at me as a joke for 13 to 14 years until I could prove feasibility. Then I had competitors. Those that laughed at me became my competitors. Anyone who sits in our jails who is not just a criminal but what we call a terrorist with or without blood on his hands and these definitions are also unclear to me, should not be sitting in our custody. My memories from my childhood are centered on my father's medical conditions alongside my constant desire to understand the principles of the nature around me. DNA is a code of four letters. Proteins are made up of amino acids which come in 20 forms, so the ribosome is a very clever machine that reads one language and operates in another. After I spent my compulsory army service in the top secret office of the medical forces, where I was fortunate to be exposed to clinical and medical issues, I enrolled to the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Thanks for watching the video, please subscribe to my channel to get more videos.